started today. <laughs> Up in the roof. And now Signatas is gonna go down. I'm in a lot of trouble, but that's a good Whoa. grenade. What's up, PUBG Esports fans? Did you have fun watching Week 2's Weekly Final? Week 2 Weekly Final can be summed up as the rise of the underdogs. And GNL Esports was at the center of it all as they tied with the European powerhouse Team Liquid in both overall points and kill points. But Team Liquid managed to get that one extra point in the best performing match and won the Week 2 Weekly Final. Week 2's Weekly Final was a nail-biter until the end. Let's see how the teams you picked did in the up and down. The Wild Horses run continued in Week 2's Weekly Final. So easy. Team Liquid continuously stacked up points by winning chicken dinners in Match 3 and 9. The race was tighter than ever, and the standings changed dramatically every match. No one could predict the winner. Out. Match 10 was when the winner was determined. GNL Esports was in the lead, and Team Liquid was just four points behind. Jeans wiped out Americano, and Ibiza picked up kill points as a solo. Team Liquid won their spot at the Grand Final by a neck, which allowed Team Liquid to directly advance to the Grand Final with a sliver of margin. Um, we're going to prepare by playing the weekly survival and the weekly final uh, as practice next two weeks, uh, next week. And we're just going to do our best in it and still play to win, but use it as practice. I'd like to thank all the fans for uh, supporting us and picking us in the Play Game Challenge. Uh, hope you're happy with the points. Team Liquid was the only top four team in this week's weekly final to consistently win chicken dinners. This allowed them to have an upper hand when it came down to the tiebreaker, the best match score, and win this week's weekly final. They have shown a solid performance for the past two weeks, as they are not only the winner of Week 2's weekly final, but also first in the overall weekly final standings by a huge gap, being nearly 20 points ahead of Space Station Gaming, who is second. Team Liquid was ranked 7th in Week 2's Pick'em Challenge. You can count on Team Liquid to place in the top 4. If you haven't voted yet, it might be a smart choice to pick them. GNL Esports, the formidable rookies that drastically changed the landscape of PGC 2021. Although they missed their opportunity to win the weekly final, they are the Dark Horse team as they stacked up 81 points and finished second even without a chicken dinner. They finished in the top four in five matches over the weekend. Although they may have the least experience with global events, their growth over the course has been unquestionable, especially Korn's play in the final match where he was biding his time, waiting for his chance to finish off Ibiza was impressive. They did very well considering they tied with Team Liquid in both placement points and kill points. Sadly, they were only able to finish second. Things would have been different if they finished off Lou in match nine. 어, 저희가 6매치 때 실수했던 부분이 가장 아쉽고 지금도 많이 생각나는 것 같아요. 어, 3주차는 지금까지 보여드렸던 거와는 좀 다르게 초반부터 싸우는 화끈한 경기력을 좀 많이 보여드릴 예정입니다. Third place went to Virtus Pro, who acquired 74 points. They took a step back from fighting for their loot spot and were able to take a breather. Although they weren't able to win a chicken dinner, they were able to secure a lot of points and joined the race for first place. Was it a twist of fate? They bumped into Danawa Esports in the final match, where everything was on the line. When will this bad blood between the two teams end? No, неплохо. Неплохо сыграли, можно было лучше. А, ну пройти в ВЦД и может для завершения выиграть третью неделю. Virtus Pro was ranked fifth in Week 2's Pick'em Challenge. And as many of you predicted, they finished in the top four. Congratulations to those who voted for Virtus Pro. Another team that led the rise of the underdogs, Global Esports Exit. First, they advanced to the weekly final by winning a legendary 20 kill chicken dinner in the weekly survival. Then, they carried on the momentum and dominated the weekly final as well. Combats, strategies, you name it. They have shown significant improvements in every aspect of the game and overcame the criticism that they are one of the weak links in this event. Global Esports Exit was 25th in Week 2's Pick'em Challenge and 20th in the Weekly Kill Point MVP. But out of the 68 points that they acquired, 
52 of them were kill points, and they were crowned as the weekly kill point MVP. Um Danawa Esports made their presence when they conquered Virtus Pro in fights for the loot spots. They were considered as a front runner in week two, but unfortunately they finished in 14th place. Heroic, who finished fifth in week one's weekly final, struggled throughout the week too, and finished at the bottom of the leaderboard. They really need some points to make it to the grand final. So, let's see whether they can bounce back in week three. A lot of the picks were wrong in the week two weekly final. The four teams that got the most votes failed to qualify for the weekly final, making more than half of the votes automatically wrong. Furthermore, the competition among the upper half was very fierce. Hence, it wouldn't be an overstatement to say that the top eight teams were in the race for gold heading into the final match. As there aren't many chances left to vote, you've got to think twice before casting your votes. Let's check out week three's current poll. Gen G, who seemed untouchable, have finally slid to second, and Virtus Pro is currently at the top. We have to see how the weekly survival pans out, but if you've been following the rise of the underdogs, you may want to keep an eye on the Global Esports Xset and GNL Esports. In the weekly kill point MVP poll, New Happy is currently holding on to the lead. Will Global Esports Xset, who emerged as the top dog, be able to dominate New Happy and show us more explosive plays? Week 3's Pick'em Challenge closes on December 11th at 6 p.m. Korean Standard Time. So, make sure to cast your votes before the poll closes. We'll be back with the most up-to-date news next time.